Josh, let me ask you this. Following this initial attack in Paris, where 129 people were brutally killed, the President of the United States referred to this as something that was a, quote, setback. Secretary John Kerry, then, in trying to draw a line of comparison between the Charlie Hebdo attacks and these recent Paris attacks, said that those attacks at Charlie Hebdo were, quote, understandable. Do you understand at this point how the, how the verbiage needs to change a bit because everyone in this world right now sees them as aloof, apathetic, and quite cavalier about these lives being lost at the hand of ISIS? Would you go back and ask for that language to be changed at this point to reflect some sort of solidarity and intentional aggression against ISIS? I mean, to call this, to call this understandable as it relates to Charlie Hebdo, to call this just a setback seems awful, at least to the American people. Well, Elizabeth, I think what I'd ask the American people to do is to go look at the transcript of the president's remarks where he described the situation as sickening, uh, where he expressed his profound sorrow at what exactly had occurred. Uh, and I think what I would encourage you to do is to spend uh, just as much time focusing on the president's actions as you do his words. His words because matter, do, Josh. I, I have to stop you there. Josh, I will seriously. stop you there. The president of so, the United Elizabeth, States' words matter. Elizabeth, let me finish my answer. Matter. If you want to have me on your show, Elizabeth, I will focus Elizabeth, on my president's words, Josh. if you want to have me on your show Josh? to talk about a serious issue, then, then give me an opportunity to answer the question. I would and love for you to I'll answer, answer it, but I... will answer the question by telling you that you should consider... Elizabeth, if you want to have me on the show to talk about something serious as our national security, you can ask me a question and I will answer it. Josh, we've played fair before. When the president I'm is letting you know when that our president's words matter not just to me, not just to the American people, but to those around the globe who are very concerned right now. Our president's words matter. He called this a setback. Why? Just a setback seems cavalier, but go ahead and answer the question. Elizabeth, if you would consider the president's remarks, you will note that he said he called the attack sickening and that he expressed his profound sorrow at what had precisely had occurred. 